do not hit the ATV. Hey! So we're gonna move the, Kevin just moved him out of here. We're gonna move him to a lot that hadn't had animals on it and golly, uh, maybe a month and a half or two months. We've got the calves with us this time. So all the cabbies, we've got four. Yes, four calves. We had three in like two days apart. So that's awesome. So we're gonna move them. They should be easy. They'll just follow mama and uh, go to greener pastures. Here we go. Here we go. Get out of the way. Grab a Snickers. Grab a Snickers. Quit being cranky. Here. Here. Yeah, how about that? I'm gonna go open this gate. Well, we've got one. Here come the rest. Sometimes you're just too close. You know it? Back up. Back up. We gotta move up. This guy. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Jumping in the air. Get out of the way. Do not hit the ATV. Hey! First time they've been in this pasture in forever. Dunbar's gonna lead the way first. I don't beat him to it. If one goes, they usually all go, but the mamas with the current calves, they've been hoarding up together staying together as a pack so it looks like they're gonna it's gonna take them a second to figure it out may have to get over here and rattle the bucket some but this paddock has got a lot of bermuda like i said this is hadn't been touched in a while but there they go so i'm gonna have to leave this gate open for a while and let them all come in here i don't know 
one head to turn, two heads. Not gonna happen. So I've got one more gate over here. They may come through, they're over here right now. Let's get the bucket. Let's see if they'll make a move over here. May or may not. moving the herd today the four mamas with currently four calves are all hanging out together i tried to rotate them so we've got a paddock right here paddock right here one of the previous videos you guys saw i was flying the drone this is this paddock probably the largest paddock and then and then we kind of been rotating them back and forth but we've got this one where we've got big joe kind of separated so we try to go this way and back up got everybody without a calf up there but the four mamas stayed together and they're riding it out together so not gonna move them not gonna push them because it ain't worth it because their babies are days or like five days old is the most so i've got to leave them there leave them together and then we'll go from there just another day on cross timbers bison ranch just doing our thing trying to take care of the herd move them around with our rotational grazing so thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video of seeing the bison bull being rescued that was a fun event i thought it was going to be more of a uh, a wild west show but it wasn't which is what doc and i try to do whenever we come together you try to keep those animals as calm as possible and keep them relaxed and just make things like they're normal and so that's what we tried to do and it worked out great and luckily that bison bull is pretty calm he's been hanging out with those cattle and i bet he's happy to be hanging out with those cattle because there's no hierarchy system in that herd they were he was just hanging out just another just another guy but um here uh hanging out with those yearlings he's uh he's moved down the down the pole a lot so he's uh he's at the bottom but uh that's okay he's here and he needs to be with bison and um or we've got his vaccinations in him it's warmer and he's getting some feed now and some hay and grass so he should be good um, we'll hopefully see some improvements with him as far as the hernia goes i think that's there for good that's not going to change um hopefully it doesn't get any bigger but we'll keep an eye on him thank you guys for watching us